starting it's starting now to start. we're we've started to starting start. our start uh we're going to mom's house is this a new place why did it get dark this can't be good i hope uh, you survive the night oh no it's even totally worse than fog oh okay oh it's so boring oh wait is it totally black no it's gonna like flash yeah every once oh, in a while we're gonna gosh, get lightning this is so boring <laughs> It, I appreciate this so much, don't get me wrong, but... If you're oh not liking this, gosh. I think you will like uh, what comes next. No, I... Because I, it will be daytime I again. I do like it. I'm caving to pressure. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so boring. I appreciate this particular thing, though. I think that's, that's a clever thing. You just suddenly cannot see anything. So that's a good little memory drill, but that's that's as good as I can. Try. As much as you can compliment I it. I just it's just I don't know. I mean, at this point, I have to just say it's awesome. I love the stars. Yeah, the stars are kind of my favorite thing right now. They okay. shoot cute little things, so I love that. Um. Um. Oh boy, that we need top lane's probably. We need gonna... a light. Are there any lanterns? Do you get to choose what shows up at all? No. Ugh. What's the pumpkin? The pumpkin it's like is, walnut. it's a walnut that goes over your plant. Oh, I see. So that's pretty nice. You, I see. Really could use a little lantern, maybe? Oh, a lantern would probably or, give me like full but view. But I imagine you won't have one at all. <laughs> it's Ugh. weird that there's no music. Did we just mess something up? No, it's just boring. <laughs> it just is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to everyone who loves this game. I have to say this again. I don't dislike this game, actually. I just am not sure why anyone would want to watch it played. So clearly, I just need to play it more. Because then I would love it more. Um, I do love the aesthetic. I love the kind of Halloween-y aspect of it. Growing up... Well, growing up, I grew up everywhere, but spending time on the East Coast, um, it's a totally different vibe than it is here. Uh, Halloween on the West Coast, Pacific Northwest specifically, it's cold. Like, just randomly, October 31st is usually one of the coldest days of the year. So many blovers! And there's no point in even putting them. They don't do anything. I guess if you get the balloon, guys, what am I thinking? But, um... The, uh, the, I don't know, the seasons are just different. You don't have big neighborhoods of people. You know, in certain places, like Seattle and Portland and, and thereabouts, you definitely do, but the majority of the state is just empty and rural. So there's just a different vibe. On the East Coast, you do end up with lots of people, and, you know, they go all out. They decorate for stuff. Oh, and boy. Just throw everything down, I guess. I don't know what else to do. That makes know. sense. I mean, at the very least, they'll they'll eat them, right? You don't have to pay for any of these guys. Yeah, so that actually down. makes a lot of sense. Um, but yeah, this this does make me think a little bit of the the East Coast. Kind of miss it a little bit. I love I love the zombies. I love the artwork. I like all of the characters. I'm not, you know, it doesn't really matter if I like the game overall or not. But what a cute game! Just the fun. The different zombies, the different little pets. What do you call the the seeds? I guess. Um, yeah, seeds is probably I love accurate. Those cacti. They're so adorable. I love how they like stand up real tall <laughs> and stuff. Um, love the music and the sounds. That sound sounds like rain on a tin roof. It's so beautiful. I wish I could yeah. see, but <laughs> yeah, and that's again, just I, the game mode. This, I would say this area is actually, like, pretty weak as far as, as all this goes. Mm -hmm. Like, the mechanic of the level, the... Fall asleep. You're almost oh, geez. done. That's okay. The... It, it just... The mechanic is about depriving people 
of the experience that makes Plants vs. Zombies enjoyable, which is seeing all of the chaos unfold, and well, that is being taken time, away. Then, because you have the fog before this, and I just don't yeah, I understand why it's there. That's, But I feel like they could have just made the game harder. Just have them come at you faster. You know, why, why bother with that? You literally cannot see the game. Yeah, and it's like, why? It doesn't why, make sense to me. The, From a coding point of view, I guess it makes sense. Like, oh, well, we just won't show anything the, that's happening. The mechanic here. makes sense. It's just, yeah, not fun. No, it's it's just, like I said, just bores me a little bit. Even though it's clearly fun to play. And like I said, had I been playing, I love the chaos. I really do. Um, and this comes down to we had... I don't remember which user it was that was talking about symmetry. Do you remember? That was Lorbido. So I, I super appreciate that. And this getting oh. here. Oh, there you go. You did it. This um, this is where we're finally in the daytime again. Getting getting to the stage, you know, definitely lends credence to that argument. And I that's something I would definitely recommend in these later stages. You will need to probably rely more on, um, on symmetry, but... For the most part, I just, I don't find this game particularly challenging. I hate not having, so you're playing on the roof? I'm on the <gasps> roof now. Cute! This, this is where it, this is where things ramp up, but also it's way better. Like, it's way easier to deal with. Well, I say, you go for it, girl. That bungee zombie, I think those just come down and, boop, grab them, and that's it. Hmm. Um, Maybe one this, one? Yeah, Do good you point. think? I don't know. I And Sunflower, of course. I'm not that good. I just was relying on the walnut. Squash. And then potato mine. Do you have a shooter? I have the cabbage pulp, but I should get a repeater as well. Okay. And mm. then I guess I could get... I don't need a split pea. Oh, flaming guys, those are expensive. Never mind, those are just too expensive. That's that's Maybe another thing. Maybe I'll try the twin sunflower. Enough. Wait, do you have the ability to make money? So the twin sunflower was? Yeah, well okay. the sunflower I and gotcha. the twin sunflower. Oh, I didn't even see the sunflower. Okay, oh cute little pot. So you have to plant things <gasps> in the pots. So if you want to build stuff forward, you have to plant a pot first. Which, oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. So so when they eat. When they eat the plant, then they'll start eating the pot. Um, mm. Oh, I forgot to renew my rakes. That's okay. Oh, he says the zombies are coming. I... That's cute. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna do what I normally do with a potato mine, but with a squash. Okay. That way, I can focus on getting my sunflowers up quickly. Just do that right mm -hmm. now. Because it's better this than buying so a cabbage pulp cute. right away. We have a couple of plants growing in pots here. Yeah. Um, Hawaii's got a great climate for growing, but the soil is kind of... Eh. I don't want to say it's bad necessarily, but... At least where we are living, it's not really a possibility to just plant it in the backyard or anything like that. It's a mostly patio. And so we're growing tomatoes, jalapenos... And a lemon. We won't get any fruit off of the lemon. And a lemon? I, I just planted it from seed because I, I, we'd bought a lemon. And I figured, oh, what the heck, you know. And I then it just grocery. accidentally started yeah, growing. So that I, accidentally. I drowned the peppers because I was overwatering it. And it's very rainy right now because it's, it's wintertime. But anyway, regardless, we've got a little tomato growing. It's doing very well. The jalapeno, our roommate planted actually. But that's doing better now that I've moved it out of the water. And yeah, our little lemon growing. I think I'm gonna wait until next month maybe to plant peppers again. It was just way too wet and it's too cold still. Which is funny, everyone kept saying, oh, it's gonna be so hot there. Yeah, it's winter time here. You know, it doesn't snow or anything, but winter time here means it's it's chilly. You know, yeah. what, what would your lowest temperature be? Even in the summer when you're air conditioning things, like 70 degrees, it's, maybe? It's like just because Arizona might be, you know, 120 degrees during the day doesn't mean that it's cold, that it's not it's, hot. Oh, that is... Oh, that's annoying. That's the bungee guy. I think he's going to take my pot. Oh, that could be 
creepy. Yeah, so those guys yeah, are so, horrible. So it's quite cold here, actually. I've I've spent more days being cold here than I did when I was living in Oregon. Same, yeah, that it snowed there all the time. But we had the heat going all the time. And here, there's no heat. So if it gets down into the 50s at night, that's how cold it is here <laughs> when we get up in the morning. Um, so, you know, it's not like it's freezing necessarily, but this morning it took me about 20 minutes to stop shivering. So I'm down at the bottom. Um, I, I just got such a chill and I was, I mean, I was wearing sweats. I had a blanket on me and everything, but it was just chilly and it's been breezy and all that. So... I've got a walnut that's and a so pumpkin. That's awesome. I love that. That's so cute. And he looks so cute. Look at his little face. Mm -hmm. He's um, very happy to be I in there. I love the walnuts. Even if you look closely at the potted plants, they, they also have, have faces. little faces. Yeah, yeah, they're like breathing. That's cute. But yeah, I guess that's that's what I was trying to say, that we're growing those vegetables in little pots out front. And it is a lot of fun. It is. To look I, at the progress I every cannot, day. It doesn't matter what it is, how small it is. You don't necessarily have to eat it. I recommend growing something at least in a little pot. It's the just the first so thing satisfying. I ever grew was Oh no, he's coming for it. I think he may only take the pumpkin. Oh, oh he, no. Oh. You stole my walnut friend. I'll just chomp him. Son. 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 Oh. Okay. Uh, well, seems like I got it. You did. That's all right. The twin sunflower will be really useful shortly. I I'm actually pretty excited because the uh, the little cabbage pulse. There's one cabbage. that does like area damage. Cabbage pulse, so cute. Oh Pult. yeah, pulse. Get those suns, suns, suns. Ah, oh, you're done. I have a little plant. Oh yeah. Um, I guess I'm not gonna take the repeater. I'm pretty sure the repeater is not is just useful. not mm -hmm. useful. Got some new items for sale. Roof cleaners. Um, mm. I can't afford that yet, uh, which means What's that. What's the little octagon on the bottom? Oh, the fume shrooms. The cat or the gloom is shrooms. So cute. I know, and I'm I'm definitely gonna get that. Yes. The roof cleaner, are are, oh. I'll have to get that later, but because right now I don't have lawnmowers or anything, so if they get to the other side of the roof, yeah, then but... I lose. Oh, you got one of those pole vaulter jerks. I do, and these bungee guys are mm. just not possible to deal with right now. I mean, so. what, is there a way to deal with them? Um, with the not potato mine, yet. maybe? Uh, they would the will... potato mine work? The potato mine would have to be the thing that it was targeting. That's in true, order you wouldn't be work. able to spit. Oh, okay, yeah. So, hmm. um... I liked having the sunflower. I'm not taking the repeater this time. Chomper was really nice. Do you want both of those sunflowers? You, you have to get the twin to get the regular one, and I like having the upgrade because it gives you... You upgrade Wait, them early, you, and then you get double the You sun. have to have the twin in order to use the other one? You have to have the regular one to use the twin one. Like, it's an upgrade. Mm. So, so there are a couple mm. things that you have to... You have to have the original version so that you can purchase an upgrade over the top of it. Hmm. But, you know, depending on what your your goal is, it's, it's usually pretty worth it. Well, what's the cheaper one? Uh, you've got potato mine or the squash? I'm thinking I'm going to go squash again because the squash can deal with the pole vaulters. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh, you unlock the potted plant and then you lose a row. Th these levels are ridiculous. I'm just gonna start with instead of purchasing those mm -hmm. uh, those upgrades right away or the the walnuts and stuff right away. I'm gonna purchase the cabbage pulse first mm, after I've got smart. my first mm -hmm. layer of sunflowers. That's why the rake's so nice. You get the rake. And then you don't have to deal with uh, an entire zombie, which yeah. at the very beginning is a pretty big deal. Hmm. Still pretty slow. 
But I do like the change of venue. Me too. I feel I... like I'm being held hostage by that though. <laughs> like it's so boring that I'm excited that we're now on a the roof Stockholm or syndrome. Something. Yes, but thank goodness the zombies are trying to invade my home from the roof now. Ugh, that creeps me out. <sighs> and the music, of course, has kind of slowed down itself, which kind of reflects that. Uh, Oh, I thought the, it had sped up a little bit. Well, the... I don't know, like, the beat is faster, but the, the overall pace of the song is a little bit slower. Like, and then you get to this part, and then I'm wrong. <laughs> I wasn't gonna say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, you were just gonna slob him. I, I'm doing pretty okay right now. You're doing just fine. I'm, because I'm, you're already like a full seventh of the way through the level, and you're definitely gonna take this guy out. Brains. Well, and I just love these, the catapults. We're gonna unlock a couple other ones soon that will, that will help kick things into high gear. seems like two is enough to handle these guys. I think they do a lot more damage than the uh, than the pea shooters. They're just slower. So it's like it's an Octagon sort of situation. It's half the speed that they fire but double the damage so it balances out. Hmm. I don't think I need walnuts. Honestly, like, no, if like I've it. got the pumpkin... You may end up wanting them for later stages, but I'm thinking you're doing just fine. Oh, jeez. Well, that's okay. Don't get hit in the oh. I do love that the cabbage pults adjust their trajectory. It's yes. like the stars shot <laughs> everywhere, but you would never need them to shoot backward, really. No, right? except against those little miners. And those which... never, almost never show up, so there's no point doing that. And then they're not very accurate. They're shooting away from the row that you put them in. But the cabbage bolts are nice, because no matter how far away they are, they'll... Here we go. Shoot. <sighs> that guy right there is going to be a bit... Of a nuisance. Of a nugent. Who's nugent? So far, so good. I think I'm gonna upgrade another sunflower next. Go for it. It's it's tricky. The sooner you upgrade it, the more that it's worth it. I think that getting the walnuts once I've got the setup is better than getting a squash because the walnut at least lasts a lot longer. Mm. Oh, boy. I guess if the sunflower is taking a little while to, uh, to wind up. Oh, these pole vaulters, though, they are causing me a great deal of stress. I mean, this is kind of the do-or-die set of stages. Oh no. I guess I need more damage. I wouldn't mind having some, uh... Like, I wish that pea shooters, I think you can do pea shooters on the front level, and then the rest of it has to be, uh... The rest of it will run into the roof, so you hmm. just don't get the the benefit of of them. Like this curve on the roof translates into an actual effect on the gameplay, which I can appreciate. Like it, it's a pretty wild mechanic to have show up uh, towards the the end game. Oh, these guys are driving me crazy. There we go. I can't tell what's... Oh, 
No. I can't tell what's aimed at what, because <laughs> it's just cabbages flying through the air. So, uh... I'm just kind of hoping. <laughs> I don't have the roof cleaners yet, either, so it kind of puts in a lot of extra stress to do it correctly. Correctly. <laughs> All right, I think I got it. That wasn't so bad. I was trying to use the squash on that, and then it ended up going to waste. And there's another level down. Great job. I, uh, I'm actually, I'm really excited to be done with the campaign, because I want to start playing all the minigames. Mm -hmm. There are, like, 20 different minigames. Oh, popcorn. Just regular corn, I guess. <laughs> corn launcher. Kernel Pult. <laughs> Flings corn kernels and butter at zombies. Well, things are still pretty hectic. We've got the uh, ladder zombie. I'll give you one guess what that does. What? Oh, boy. Not excited for that one to show up. <laughs> Uh, but we will, we will jump back into it next time, and, uh, with any luck, I can keep up this pace of not dying, because I would certainly love to, uh, show my skills in that regard. Thanks for watching!